That is a strong matcha. You cannot tell me that does not look like the best hojicho latte ever. Do you guys know what this box means? This is another luxury matcha. If you saw my review about the Revy matcha, this is from the same company, Sense of Matcha. But this, this is their Ikigai blend. And I don't know how much it is because their website is down, but this is another SS grade, 100% organic, pesticide free matcha, certified by Japan's foremost tea master. And this is very exclusive. Again, another exclusive luxury matcha. I mean, like, look at the packaging. So, we're gonna try another expensive luxury matcha today, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. So this is the Revy one. It's the Revy. This is the Ikigai. Actually, I think the Revy, this one is a lot more vibrant, I think, and has a deeper green color than this Ikigai one. Ooh, the texture is so soft. I'm gonna try this as a Yusutra first. I'm just gonna put like a little ice cube in there to like cool it down. Whoa. That one, that is a strong matcha. Wow, that was really powerful. And it's very powerful, but it like lingers. Like it's staying for a good amount of time. Sometimes when I drink matchas, like it starts off really strong, but immediately goes away. I feel like this started off really strong with a really bold bite, but then it lingered for a couple of seconds, which is Definitely something I've never experienced before. It is kind of sweet, like it's slightly sweet. I taste like a little bit of sweetness in it. Definitely grassy. And it's not as creamy, like it's it ends on a creamy note, but it's not super creamy. I'm making a baby latte because I cannot handle any more caffeine today. The punchiness and like the boldness of when I tried it as a yusucha, it still remains the same as a latte. Like the boldness of the matcha flavor is definitely coming through. I do experience a lot more bitterness and astringency when I drink it as a latte and I feel like it's like staying longer on my tongue. So as a latte, I feel like it's very good in the matcha flavor, like the boldness of the matcha taste still carries through the same as when I was drinking it as Yusucha, but I feel like when I drink it as a latte, the bitterness and the astringency becomes more enhanced and um, actually, yeah, it becomes a lot more enhanced and stronger. So I'm getting a lot more like bitterness and a lot more astringency like left over on my tongue. And I don't really get like the sweetness as much. Like it's still there. The umami's not really there either. I can really just taste like vegetal notes almost. And it is still very creamy and it is still very smooth. Um, but yeah, again, there's like a stronger like bitterness to it and a stronger astringency along with the strong matcha flavor. excited to show you guys that I'm finally adding to my matcha bar here at home and it is a milk frother which I've been wanting for kind of a while now I've been looking at different options and thankfully Dreo came in clutch with the timing and they kindly sent me over their 
Barista Maker Milk Frother. And this one is so legit, guys. Like, I've never had a uh, milk frother like this before. Like, usually I use the hand whisker, or I had this, like, other one before um, that I got off Amazon that I really liked and was thinking of buying it again. But I kind of wanted something more advanced, and this is for sure the perfect thing because this thing actually comes off of like the the maker itself and it has a spout so i feel like i can try and practice latte art with this but i think it's so cool and i feel like it just like looks more legit especially because like this is my like home cafe so having this maker completely like elevates my entire matcha bar and I'm excited to use it for like home cafe pop-ups once I get like the gist of it. Cool thing about this too is that it has different like milk options where you can select what type of milk you're using for it to froth and then you can also do hot or cold foam and it comes with two different types of blades so you have like this normal one which is like the one that you use with a hand electronic whisker and then you have one that's more of like a windmill shape blade and that one's for like mixing drinks well together like smooth or not smoothies like powders like into um the milk so i think that's super cool i've never had one that gave me two different type of blade options and i just love that it has like the different milk alternative options like you can be specific about what type of milk you want to be foamed and you can do hot cold i think it's so cool and i'm super excited to use this we are going to test this out right now i'm going to make a hojicha strawberry latte and i want to make it like foamy and creamy and i'm super excited to see how this works so let's try it together okay i'm going to be making the hojicha as normal nothing special to it um, but the cool thing about this too, about the milk frother, is that if you are like in a pinch and you really just needed to make your matcha or like your hojicha like super quickly, you can actually use that um, windmill type of um, blade. It's called the impeller tip. The impeller tip, which is the more of like the thicker blade with the wings on it. You can actually use that one to mix your like hojicha powder or your matcha powder directly into it with the milk, which I think is so awesome because like if you're really in a pinch and you don't have time to, you know, whisk and sift and use like hot water with your matcha, then you can just put it in there and it'll just do it for you and you can get ready. You can like do other things that you have to do um, if you're like in a rush. So I think that's also really cool about this milk frother okay now that it's ready let's plug this in delicious you guys look at how good this looks it is so fluffy and so creamy and i feel like it mixed the strawberry so well together there's like a light pink like tint to the oat milk as well but <gasps> this looks so good and the, the foam on top you guys look at that thick layer of foam my electronic whisker could not do that. Can you hear that? Thank you again, Drea, for sending me this. It's amazing. I love it. Chef's kiss. I will leave the description for you guys if you want to buy it yourself. Because, yeah, amazing. <laughs>
um, sorry for the bad lighting. I'm in a parking structure. Um, I'm about to get some dinner with some friends and I stepped outside and it's actually kind of cool. Like the weather's starting to cool down, which I'm really excited about because we're getting hot pot and yeah, I'm always craving soup even if it's hot, so I'm happy about that. But I wanted to show, hopefully you can see, these new pieces of jewelry that I got from the brand Pavoy. Um, one of my favorite affordable and actually pretty durable jewelry brands that I've tried. Um, but yeah, again, the brand is Pavoy and I uh, originally found their earrings and stuff on Amazon and became a fan and I actually got the opportunity to work with them because they reached out to send me a few pieces and these are from them. I want to learn how to stack my wedding bands um, just in like different ways to like spice up the way that it looks because I saw some other like people post about how they like switch up the way that they stack their wedding rings and wedding bands. So I got this one from Pavoy and I thought it would be super cute to like pair it with my wedding band and type um, that I have so I'm wearing it out I think it's so cute and it just makes me more excited to experiment with different pieces and then to match that I got this really cute tennis bracelet um, from them as well and I feel like it just adds like a little bit more a little bit more like spice to the outfit um, I'm just wearing like a very casual one um, so this one I feel like matches really well with this stack. I just wanted to share this quickly with you guys um, before I head into dinner. And I also will leave my like code and links down below in the description, but let's go eat. I'm super excited, that's why. Um, today is Friday. As you just saw, I came back from um, going to a matcha shop with my friend and we just did a little bit of work together and caught up. And then I picked up some groceries for a dinner that we're having this Saturday. And I came home and I looked in the drawer. To my surprise, my bananas are all, <laughs> they're all brown. And I completely forgot that I bought bananas in the first place so i'm gonna make banana bread because what else can you do with bananas that are about to go bad so i'm gonna make some banana bread so yeah i'm gonna make some banana bread and i'm probably gonna add some like protein powder and chocolate chips oh that sounds so good maybe like white chocolate chips and chocolate chips so yeah, I'm gonna make that, but I also wanted to share with you guys, so some of you guys may follow me on Instagram, I don't know, um, but as of yesterday, I finally hit 30,000 followers, and this has actually been a goal of mine that I made for the end of the year to reach that number, but I it is currently October, and I have 30,000, 30,000 of you guys who love matcha and hojicha and just like home cafe stuff, but yeah, for any of you guys who do follow me on Instagram, thank you so much. Like, it seriously means so much to me how much you guys support and just like liking and engaging in my comments. Like even here on YouTube, I really love like reading all of your comments and interacting with you guys because I think it's so cool, you know, like just being able to bond like virtually over like the same interests of like matcha and like life and God and everything. So I'm just super grateful for the community on Instagram, on here, like on TikTok, on everything. So yeah, I'm just really excited and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and now I'm gonna make some banana bread because it is getting browner by the minutes. <laughs>
know the drill. After Target, we go to 85 degrees. Hello everybody, we are gonna have some friends over in actually a little bit. So we are gonna make a taco salad with some turkey, taco seasoning, and all the things. I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite meals to make and I feel like it's very healthy and light because I've been eating such bad foods that I've been hurting my stomach and not agreeing with it. So we're gonna make this and yeah, our friends will come over. We're gonna play a little bit of Mario Party. We got the new Mario Party on the Switch, which I think is like you can have up to like 20 players or something, I believe, but we're gonna do that. We spent the day cleaning and we went to a worship session um, with some of our friends from church and that was really fun. So now we are gonna cook. Mm -hmm. 